hey, crossfading audio in Avid, talking about the best way so you have more time to drink. So there's many different ways to do it. Here's one way an editor did it, right? He took two pieces of music and he put them on two different tracks, seven and eight, dissolve in on track eight, put it dissolve out on track seven. And now you have these two pieces of music crossfading each other. Um, hopefully you're blending it. You're trying to blend two pieces of music without doing a hard cut. I have this soloed so you don't hear the other tracks. But with, with sound bites and a sound effect underneath, you hopefully don't hear two different cuts of music blending together. That's what a crossfade is. So this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is you actually could have two tracks on the same track. That's another way to do it. Depends on how big a crossfade you want to do and how, how the music works together. But here's the best way I say. So I have two cuts of music here that I want to blend together. And what I would do here is I'd put a dissolve on. And, you know, crossfades, you could you can go long dissolve. I think some people think it's too short. Just go ahead. Do, do a huge dissolve if you want to. So make them three seconds. Make them five seconds if you really want to. It depends on the cut of music. And now if I listen back to it, and let's say in theory that I like that, that's okay. But at some point, maybe I wanted to do the crossfade earlier. I wanted to do it later. All I need to do is hit extend, right, and move the crossfade to this part of the video. Or extend it left, and now the same crossfade is at this part of the video. Obviously, I have to listen and make sure that part is good. But the other part that's nice about doing it this way is, if I wanted to change a certain part of the music, I could just match frame into it and then cut into a harder or softer part. So think about that when you're crossfading music. Two different tracks do center cut dissolves at the same point. And again, you have the flexibility to extend left or right. And then you have the, also the ability to cut in based on an out point on the top track or an in point in the bottom track. Either way you want to do it. Quick, fast. This way you have more time to drink beer, which was what I did this weekend, drinking this beer from... Wisconsin of all places. God knows how it got to Long Island. It was called Radio the Mothership, and it had an 8.5 alcohol level. I am drinking these higher alcohol beers while I watch the New York Jets, who are currently the worst football team in American football. And it's painful to watch, but at least the beer really helps with that process. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you need to learn Ava, go to avabeer.com, and I'll see you in the next video.